Okay, here's the conventional, intentional community I'm thinking of. Not that expensive looking, but there's a lot of land here. And this is a house that was an Amish house and it is for sale. And when I think of the perfect intentional community where people can be together and, and then have a communal house and then grow their food, we know what's coming, you know? And this is the house, but it's, it's well, it's covered right now, but I'm sure there's a lot of acreage with this, you know? And a lot of the Amish houses don't have, they don't have siding, but there's outbuildings and a lot of it needs to be fixed up. But look at all the land up there. If a group of people wanted to buy a place like this and make it an intentional community, it's got everything you need with some hard work. And sometimes hard work is what's needed to go forward. Well, look at all the land. It's not a bad area either. All these buildings could be worked on and they could be made into amazing, amazing buildings, outbuildings. You could put a solar installation really easy here. You could put a windmill here. You could have your horses here. Look at this big barn. And then look at all the property. It just goes on and on. So this is what you're talking about, you know? Intentional community right here in Western New York, which is an absolutely awesome place. There's a lot of great people here. It's farmy and it's beautiful. Look at that. This is what I've wanted to do for a while, show you guys this. Get together, and it's probably cheap. I have absolutely no idea how much this is. Hmm. But if I was in that position, and I had the wherewithal to do this, I'd love to start an intentional community. Look at it. This is what I'm talking about. And everybody could probably have a tiny house on there. So there you go.